Part three, bam, what? <laughs> Gotta make it fun, guys, come on. Uh, anyway, many Wiccans actually follow or believe in the threefold law, um, also known as the law of three. Um, a lot of you people will probably know it as uh, the law of three from the whole Charmed series on TV. Um, <clears throat> that is to say that what you do comes back to you not only once, but multiple times. Uh, some Wiccans believe that the number three in the threefold law is meant to be taken literally. Uh, the karma of our actions returns to us exactly three times. Um, some beliefs, in some of them, um, the individual believes that you will actually experience karma of your action, uh, actions as many times as necessary in order to learn the lesson that you're supposed to be learning. Um, you should definitely ask yourself the following question. Um, how would I feel if I was on the receiving end? And when I actually do a more in-depth video about how to write your own spells and how to write your own rituals, this is going to be a very big key thing that uh, is definitely going to be coming up. Because if you have no idea how it would feel to be on the receiving end of what you're doing, you probably shouldn't do it. Um, you know, I cast healing spells uh, only with the permission of the people that I'm casting them on. Um, I refuse to cast curses, hexes, anything like that. But that's because I've been on the receiving end and I know what it's like. Um, and I would not wish any of that to be on anybody. Um, anyway, I mentioned about the higher self and the higher consciousness earlier. Um, magic and psychism are words that describe two, uh, two aspects of the actual same process, uh, which is actually connecting to this higher self. The word psychic comes from the Greek word psyche, meaning soul or spirit, i.e. the higher self. In magic, we actually use this connection actively to create a certain response in the world. In psychism, we use the same connection passively to receive information about the world around us. Uh, the main thing to always remember is that magic is work from the higher self. Everything helps us connect with our higher selves, uh, helps magic. Um, regular meditation and psychic exercises are a valuable tool to strengthen said connection. Uh, that connection can be compared to kind of like as a muscle. Um, as it grows stronger with us, uh, with use rather, um, the more you do, even if at first you do not succeed, the better you will get and the easier it will become. Um, I say this to everybody and that's patience is key. Uh, you have to be extremely patient sometimes, especially when it comes to practicing magic, because not everything works on the first try. Um, the most important thing uh, when beginning magic is concentration. Uh, focus as much energy as you can into what, whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter if it's trance, spell work, ritual work, whatever. Um, this level of concentration is always an aspect of magic, but later it will seem automatic and will not take very much effort at all. Um, if you are visualizing, try to see what you are visualizing as clearly as possible. Um, in creative visualization, this is a good example uh, where you need to do this. Um, making the image as concrete and three-dimensional as possible, visualization is one of the strongest aids to concentration. Whatever magical working you are undertaking and whatever method you use, try to put your whole being into it. The more of yourself you can put into the work, the strong and the stronger you can focus, and then the stronger, the greater, and greater the effect your magic will have. Part four will be about psychic hygiene and magic. So stay tuned.